Rev up your pianos. Hello, everybody. Um, today I am going to show you how to downgrade a Windows 10 computer to Windows 7. I know I already done that with this computer, but I didn't. But it was a poor made of a video, so I'm gonna do it again. This time I'm gonna do it to a mount of my overseas computers that I don't even have it here. So and it runs Windows 10 and it runs really poorly because ever since I upgraded back when I was back there like two years ago, it ran really bad. But this Christmas I'm going back. In case if you're wondering, um, I'll. You'll know in the later of the video since I'm going there in a few months. So, but first thing what you want to do is you want to grab a grab a spare USB drive, and in this case, I have a um, SanDisk SD card right here. It will be a powerful laptop, but it's just not powerful on Windows 10 for some reason. So, it will be a SanDisk SD card in my case, but it will work with any USB. So. First thing I want to do is want to get it here and then um, plug it in. Just, just making sure yeah, it's a bit tricky. Yep. And right now it's just a an empty sand disk. But I'm gonna show you a way. So what you wanna do is go to you on softlay.net. I'll link in the description. Yeah, you can see it right here. This camera sucks. And I am putting Windows 7 Ultimate on my uh, computer that I am downgrading. So it's a laptop, it's not this. This is already got Windows 7, in case if you're wondering. Yeah, it's not going to be my other Windows 10 laptops. It's going to be one of my older Windows 10 laptops that someone upgraded for me a few years back and it ran poorly. But yeah, I'm going to put the 32 bit on because, you know, it will. um because it will run better since it's not, a, um, not very good on 64 bits. So I'm just going to hit download. Um, it's just downloading right here. And I'll catch you guys up later. So, Actually, no. You also want to um, download something called um, Rufus. Which I'll see if I have it here. Nope, I'll download that, and then I'll, yes, but I'll, sh I'll, I'll show you how to download Rufus in just a moment, but first let's just wait for that to download. This is a full process, so. Okay, so now I got searched Rufus right here, so you can see. I'll link in the description, don't worry, but this is how you find it, and then I'm just going to hit download. I'm just going to hit Rufus 3.8. And it's also just going to download as well. And I'll catch you guys up later. One Another thing that you know you have to, you know, do it in order for a clean installation. But this is optional. If you want to do boot it, you can. You can but I am mean, not going to since that laptop is already running poorly on one OS, let alone two. So I am also using something called DBAN. This is optional, but I also have the link in the description. It's It will wipe my old computer and then I will... um. Basically, um, yeah, let's download it. And then you also need the other program to write it in. So yeah, it's really fast, as you can see. Another, another thing is that um, I'm going to now write DBAN onto another, um, yes. I forgot to mention, you do need t at least two USB drives, in this case, or two SD cards or whatever. In this case, I have one of each. You can use neither of them as long as you have two. This one will house the D-band, this um, black USB drive. And then I am going to, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a Lexar, so I am going to write it onto Lexar. I am going to local disk. And then um, I'm going to use this that I that I just downloaded, and then um, click yes. It's just gonna load up. Yes, it already says Lexars is suggested. And then I'm select. Uh, local disk, whatever file that is, and then hit DVAN. It's just gonna start. And 
Yes, this will erase any potential data or anything you have on your um, USB drive. The same story goes for Windows, but I am using a an empty USB drive, so it doesn't have anything on it, so I don't have to worry about it. I'm just going to hit start, and it's going to, you know, start... Um, start writing it to the USB drive. So I'll catch you guys up once it finishes. And once it finished wiping, you can just hit close and it should be renamed to DVAN right here. And yes, yes. DVAN doesn't take up as much space, so don't be freaked out. Don't like this, don't freak out if you don't see any space there because it only takes like 0.2, uh, no 0.02 gigabytes. But here it is everything. And now we're um, basically, um, it's, yeah, DVAN's right here, basically safe to eject. It says it's safely ejected. So we'll just have to stand this. So I'm going to unplug it. So right now this has DVAN on it, this specific USB drive. And we'll wait for Windows to finish, and I'll catch you guys up later. Okay, so after about half an hour, which that's how long it took, the Windows 7 Ultimate is finally here, but we can open Rufus again. And then I'm um, gonna hit yes. Yep, this time I am, since I unplugged it just in case, if I select the wrong file, the DVAN is on that black one, and the white one is for the drivers, which I'll go, which I actually won't cover that in the video. I'm assuming that you will know. Just look up your models, which can be specific. But yeah, sand disk. Disk or ISO, let's hit select, Windows 7 Ultimate 32-bit, since my laptop, my, no, not the laptop here, like I said earlier, the other one, it runs on, runs poorly on Windows 10, and so does 64-bit versions of any Windows, for some reason, it's a weird off-brand laptop, but I am just going to hit start, make sure everything is correct. And actually, um, I'm just actually just in case you're wondering, I have two pictures right here. This one of the police and whatever. No, actually, what the case thing? I labeled them picture one and two. And um, just to prove the point that this will get rid of um, what whatever files you had on your USB stick or in my case an SD card. So please back it up. Or at least somehow do something about it, or else you'll just lose it. So I'm gonna demonstrate that now. Windows 7 Ultimate, sand disk, SD card, and hit start. Yep, it's warning here all data will be destroyed. So I'm just gonna show you about it. So just doing its thing. I'll catch you guys up once it finishes with this. Okay, so right now the Rufus has just complete. We can now hit close. Just browsing the Google Street View in on the German Autobahn, which has no speed limit for fun. <laughs> while waiting for Rufus, which that took another 10 minutes. But right now it should be renamed to, you know, something else. And right now you'll see everything. Yeah, and then I'll, um, I'll catch you guys up once I get to that computer, so... It is still here, but yes, I'll catch you guys up once we get there. And finally, you should see a see it renamed to, and you should see a Windows icon with a disk right here. Also, it should be renamed to whatever. And yes, the two picture files are gone, so please back up. And you know, don't blame me if you didn't. I already warned you. Okay, so now I finally found the computer that I'm essentially downgrading. And this is a um, this is actually saved my USB drive from DVAN. I actually put it onto a blank CD. So and this is actually UB CD. So um, for me, to access DVAN is a bit harder. So, but in case you're wondering, in case you have UB CD as well, you go to memory. If you give it a sec, no. You go to HDD, and then disk wiping. Yeah, Derek food and nuke right there. Yep, it's working. So press the enter key to to start. 
and this will basically tell you to um you know be to you know um to be sure that you're basically wiping the thing and you can't come back after it's wiped so it's just registering I'll come back with finished registering okay after some minutes of you know I think it's been two or three minutes it's finally loaded up and then um I'm gonna go to, um, I'm gonna set this to two rounds. And then, um, let's see. Um, that's about it. Um, make sure there's nothing in there or anything. Like, there's no other things that I'm like wiping. It's just the computer. Make sure my phone and everything isn't connected. Just wanna double check. And yes, let's get started. This will start the wiping. Yeah, we want to hit enter. That's what I forgot to do. And then we're s s yeah, I don't know why my uh, F10 key isn't working. Okay, it has started to wipe now. I finally got the F10 key to work. And I'll catch you guys up once the wiping finishes. Okay, so I have my computer fully wiped, as you can see. Um, I'm sorry for not showing you that it ran Windows 10 before, but but you're supposed to wipe it anyways if you want a clean install to, you know, hit downward to Windows 7 and yet speed it up a little bit, you know, so and I'm just gonna hit turn off and then um and then I'm gonna plug in the um SDHC card that I made bootable with um Windows 7 Ultimate. So I'm just gonna do that now. booting up there you go Windows is loading files now as you can see it is working right here um, yeah, it's fully plugged in and all that make sure starting Windows Okay, so just the usual process, you want to set up, set up Windows 7 just like that. Let's see how, yeah. I'm actually not in America right now, so I'm going to change the language. Yeah, that should be good. Hit install now. And, um, yeah, just want to go through the usual process about installing, so I'll catch you guys up later. I forgot to mention when you get to this step, since this is a fully wiped computer, you want to hit custom. And, yeah, this one allocated space, just like that. So, I'll catch you guys up once the install is um, finished. Right now, it's just going to extract files. <laughs> And um, yes, I'll catch you guys up later. Also, forgot to mention when Windows says on the during the first step when it says we're starting in 10 seconds, you want to unplug it, and then of course you know it should keep installing. Yep, just like that. You know, yeah, like I said before, or like I, or once again, you want to unplug the installation device. So after it's after when it says first install. So right now it should be good. And I'll have and I'll update you later. Okay, so it says it just says setup will continue after restarting your computer, which is doing that now, and that took maybe five to ten minutes. So so in case you're wondering how long it should take, that's how long it should take. So just to say that so you can be sure that you're doing it correct. Alright, so now I got Windows 7 fully installed, as you can see. The only thing I have left is the drivers now, so... So yeah, you can look up another video on YouTube about how to install drivers, because it's really varies from computer to computer, but... Yeah, it's been successful downgrading this computer back to Windows 7 completely. 
So that's it. Thanks for watching. As always, stay subscribed.